What do you know about the country you live in? It's an accepted fact that Londoners, for example, only see the famous sights of the capital when they're showing round friends from the provinces or abroad. Then, in contrast, certain things are so familiar that we tend to take them for granted, and it's only the visitor who notices the unusual. Take, say, Lowestoft, known not only as a fishing port, but as a seaside resort. Yet how many people know that boats steam literally through the town? The reason is that this swing bridge lies between the outer and inner harbours, and although there's nothing new about the idea, it's certainly something of a spectacle. But while one might at least expect scenes like this in what is, after all, a fishing port, and where as far back as William the Conqueror, the barons made their tenants pay their rents in herrings, what is unexpected is a new industry among men used to building boats, making skis. And even more remarkable, they'll soon be exported to Switzerland. You might think that exporting skis is like sending coals to Newcastle, but at this factory they produce what is thought to be the only ski of its kind in the world. We haven't time to show all the processes, for the ski is built and not merely shaped as you might think. The wooden core is already formed of ten laminations of straight-grained ash bonded together. Then with a plastic covering, they're machined to shape in pairs. As you'll see, the ski is basically a three-piece sandwich construction consisting of a spring steel sole, which is itself covered by a hard, low-friction plastic, the wood core and a plastic top. Each is covered by a special adhesive and finally bonded into shape by a pressing jig. Skis have obviously come a long way since the days when people merely made do with a couple of fairly smooth slats of wood strapped to their feet. In contrast, these require an almost scientific approach underlying the brilliant craftsmanship. In the pressing jig, temperatures of 300 degrees and pressures of up to seven tons are used to assist the bonding process. By now, the ski is finished except for trimming and cleaning up the steel edges. And each one then undergoes a test for flexibility and torsion, this being essential for good control in all conditions. Some are later subjected to really exhaustive tests. Yet another refreshing illustration of the way craftsmen in traditional industries are being adapted to work in new spheres, setting a lead to the world. 